how many of you out there are scared of wheelies because this has happened or you're scared that this might happen? The trick to a controlled wheelie is just that, making sure it's controlled the whole time. And in today's how-to with the dirt garage, we're going to show you just that. Now when we say controlled wheelie, we don't mean a big wheelie that's going to take you down the track for miles and miles. It's a simple wheelie that gets the front up and gets the front down and keeps you in control the whole time. We're going to break this down to three different parts. Part one is going to be bouncing on the bike. Part two is going to be pulling up on the bars. And part three is going to be blipping the throttle. So let's get into it. Now the trick to bouncing is using your whole body sort of almost like lifting yourself up and pushing yourself back down through the suspension and making that bike compress as much as you can. The more you compress, the more the bike's gonna come back and the easier lift you're gonna get. Now step two is all about pulling on the bars. You can see here, just by bouncing and pulling on the bars alone, we can get the front wheel up. We don't even need any throttle. So the more you push down, the more the bars are gonna come up and the easier it's gonna be when you put it all together. Now step three is just a simple blip of the throttle. Not a long rup, rup, rup. Just a simple little blip. Just enough to get a little power to the back wheel, get a little traction, and help lift that front wheel just a little bit off the ground. You don't have to go meters and meters. You just gotta get it high enough that it's gonna go over whatever obstacle you're coming up against. Now this is a control wheelie not using the clutch. You can do a clutch wheelie that pops the front up not quite as controlled unless you're really good with your with your clutch fingers. That way we eliminate the whole aspect of the clutch and you can just learn how to pop the front wheel without needing it. As you can see put all together, it's pretty simple. Having said that, it does take a little bit of practice. Just remember, the bounce down, the pull up and the flip. And once you get all those three sorted and in time in the correct order, you're gonna be wheeling over just about anything out on the track.